Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Dark Souls. So, uh, what's next? I don't know. Uh, how about Pinwheel? Uh, as is kind of my thought process in this whole situation. It's like, after this point, it's like you have to go get the four Lord Souls. Well, we're here. Let's just wail on these guys. Luckily, I've managed to, like, boost up my stamina pretty successfully by grinding forever. It takes a while, but... Uh, at this point, we probably should, won't have to level up any more in this game before, you know, beating the boss. I don't know. Maybe when we fight Gwyn. That that bit's a bit of a... I don't know. Not a sure thing how easy or hard he's going to be. So I might actually have to grind a lot to get him. But, uh, well, considering I've never actually fought him, I can't exactly say one way or another. Anyway, I'm trying to get down to Pinwheel, and it's hilarious because Pinwheel is actually the first boss I ever fought in Dark Souls. I guess, barring the Asylum Demon, because I was like, oh, where am I supposed to go? Hey, there's a cave down here. I will go down here. And I managed to just kind of, like, blitz my way past, like, half of the enemies. I'm not entirely sure how I did it or why I did it, but I managed to get there, get to Pinwheel, and then proceed to die terribly. And it was like, I this is the weirdest and most frightening place I've ever been. Speaking of, uh... Those skeleton things are terrifying. I'm just gonna hide back here. Let the shield take care of business. Uh oh. Clearly, the shield needs to take care of more business. Shit. I. What? I have a divine weapon. I thought divine weapons are supposed to make those skeletons not come back up. I, oh, because he got killed by the explodey skull thing. It doesn't count. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, well, should be fine. Just gotta watch out for the little guys. And luckily, we do more than enough damage to stagger them. We've got another Explodey Skull maybe coming down the cavern. Don't want to really deal with him, but I think we should be fine. I'm just trying to remember how to get down and how to get to the first bonfire, because I've been through here properly before, and my memory is, well, a wee bit shaky. Let's just put it that way. Hopefully, I think I know where I'm going. Worst comes to worst, we get lost, wander around for a while, and eventually find our way. That's pretty much default at this point, actually. So, I don't know, you guys are probably used to it. Anyway, I was reviewing footage, and a couple episodes back, I tend to batch record these, so I did the whole, like, Sen's Fortress, uh, and Orlando thing in one day, and, you know, dealt with the footage and whatnot. Apparently, the uh, video did not... Uh, render when I had done, you know, the final boss fight against the Steel Golem. Sun's Fortress. So, uh, I'm really sorry about missing that entire, like, boss fight for you guys, because it's kind of embarrassing and sad. Oh, it's a Necromancer. But, uh, I don't know. It was kind of boring. We just sat around and hit him for a while. But, uh,. I really hate losing footage, especially footage in a game that you can't get back. No way, no how. So in this case, you know, Dark Souls 1, you fight a boss, you can't fight it again unless you get summoned by somebody else. And, well, let's be honest, that's not exactly uh, easy to do in this game. Especially when you're hideously overleveled and are way past that point. I mean, there's a chance I'd be able to do it, but uh, it's unlikely. And realistically, best to just move forward kill the boss, and, I mean, you guys saw the interesting parts where I was having serious trouble against, you know, the steel, steel golem, and the, the last part is just me hitting him in the legs with the, uh, the Zweihander, which, meh. Anyway, let's continue on. We've got a lot of scary around here, because we got that sucker. Nobody seems to have noticed us here, though. I have upgraded our equipment like crazy. Where's that bow? If you notice, I have a b bunch of uh, plus 10 weapons and stuff. Because I can. Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Oh. Oh, this is embarrassing. Uh, okay. I equipped the wrong weapon to the wrong slot. Oh well, should be fine. Just gotta, just gotta go find... I have a Divine Gargoyle Tail Axe. Because I got two for some reason. Not entirely sure why, but uh, there we go. I was like, well, considering I have two and I'm not even really using the weapon anymore, I might as well... Did I just miss him completely? Yeah, yeah, he's shooting down. 
and I'm shooting directly over his shoulder, which means aim for the center of his mass instead of his face, because there's no benefit for headshots in this game. Probably going to have to go get more arrows in the middle of this. Maybe not. I don't know. kind of depends on how many dudes there are. But, uh, well, I, I'm going to hold out faith that we have enough Dragon Slayer Great Bow arrows to, you know, get through the entire level and not have to go restock more. Okay. Now, if I remember right, there's a lot of scary, painful things around here. Hopefully there aren't too many Necromancers. But uh, we're also running really high defense, so pretty much everything that, like, hits us uh, doesn't do a whole lot of damage. We're also running the Ring of the Evil Eye, which I'd actually forgotten I had. I don't know why I never used it before, but, like, in all of my previous playthroughs of... Nope, oh, there's an archer nearby. Oh, he's behind me. Well then. Going to strafe around that. Oh, <laughs> that's the Necromancer card. It's like... Why is there a Necromancer combat rolling towards me? That's very confusing. But, uh, not that big of a deal. Anyway. Oh, shoot. That is not as painful as I thought that was going to be. Guess heavy armor plus Ring of the Evil Eye makes this actually really easy. I uh, Hopefully I won't have to use that many healing items, but it does mean that I'm going to be playing a little bit stupidly. Because I'm not losing that much health. Which is convenient, but also painful. Anyway, we've got... We've got a number of things around here. I really do not remember where the bonfire is going to be. But, that's okay. Just gotta... Just gotta keep going. Just, just gotta... Just keep swimming. Yeah. Oh, hello! Skeletons. I, pro I probably should have spotted them coming into this room. And I was like, oh, I don't remember there being any enemies that pop up around here. Yep, well, Wander, your your memory is kind of terrible because... Surprise! Oop. I guess I also have to just pay attention to my feet. Because that's where they come from. Anyway, we're almost back up to full health. The Ring of the Evil Eye. I really need to remember how effective it is. I was like, yeah, it, it's just like a me small amount of healing. It can't be that great, right? It's very good. Holy crap. Uh, it's, why didn't anybody tell me before? Because, I mean, I can take maybe, like, one hit per enemy or something like that and end up more or less breaking even as far as health goes. And that's really useful. I don't remember it being as effective as this in Dark Souls 2. But maybe that's just my imagination mess messing with me. Right, here's that archer from before, and we've... Oh. Don't turn your back to it, Wander. Don't turn your back. We just want to kill this guy first, because otherwise he's going to hit us in the butt. And I don't like butt strikes. Butt strikes is how you end up with the pain. And I still managed to turn my butt to him. Oh well, I managed to juke it somehow. Swing and a whiff. I always feel kind of bad when I whiff it with the Great Axe. It's like, oh no. Suddenly, suddenly we are just like, leaning forward and everybody can hit me in the shoulder. Anyway. So we've got this area, but I think... Over the... Yep. Somewhere over the rainbow we have a... Necromancer. I think we're going to be fine. Yep. He's coming out to play. Which is great, because if I can snipe him, that means no more recurring skeletons or somebody shooting flame, flame balls at me from a distance. Man, they go flying when I use this bow. I like. Anyway, uh, let's switch away from that. Can't use that yet. So I guess I just got to keep going forward. And we've got a lot of uh, splody skeleton things. Which is scary. Gotta just avoid everything. Oh god. Just, just go wander. Just go. The pain is here. But uh, if you can get past, all, all is good. Okay. Apparently they can't hit me while I'm interacting with their lever. That actually is really convenient. I did not know that. And then I can just go in and uh, axe them to death. I'd make bad puns about ax axing them a question. But let's be honest here. I think that that joke has been uh, done to death and really wasn't ever that funny to begin with. That said, I guess I just made it by by acknowledging that the joke even exists. Ugh, frame rate. I'm so. I w I will admit, or originally I had planned to you know play and release this game prior to Dark Souls, you know, two coming out. I kind of failed that one, but uh, you know, oh well. 
But now I'm trying to beat this one just because for me it's the inferior game and it's kind of frustrating playing it because it's like I want to play Dark Souls 2 right now and can't because, well, I've got Dark Souls 1 to beat and if I don't beat it, oh, it's the Necromancer Corpse. Of course, uh, yeah, if, if I don't beat it, then, hmm, then I'm just going to be kind of flip-flopping back and forth and not happy about it. And realistically, I think I would very much like to beat this game, go on to two and just be like, yeah, now, now I get to focus on the good one. And I'm sure there are a lot of people that disagree with me on whether or not Dark Souls 1 or 2 is better. And it's kind of hard to tell. I, I'm i not sure. I think the only reason why I really like 2 better... Oh, shoot. There's two of them. Hmm. if I can... Nope. Oh, this is a problem. Because I really want to hit that crystal gecko. Okay, I'm not going to hit it in the untraditional way, so we've got to just go in and whaley hoosens. Please, don't go away. Okay, I got it. White height night chunk. I think we need those. I'm not entirely sure. I've stopped paying attention to how to upgrade things, because if I can't upgrade it with a store-bought item, it's generally beneath my attentions. Anyway, uh, there's another one. It disappeared. Oh well. I can probably come back for it, or forget about it, because, I don't know, when it comes down to it, I'll probably never need it. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to fall through that pit, but it also feels like there's only... Uh, you can only fall through this pit before you go anywhere. Hello, where are we? Ooh. I have no idea where we are. I feel like I'm going to get attacked or something here. Where is this? Oh, this is where I was. Where the switch was. Okay. That makes sense. But yeah. I, I think really the only reason why I like Dark Souls 2 better is, I guess, twofold. I really, really, really like the fact that the frame rate doesn't go down to 15 frames per second for no reason whatsoever. And I also really like the fact that you can warp to any bonfire. For some reason, I'd swear you can warp to more bonfires in Dark Souls 1, but none of them are unlocking in the warp menu, so I'm just kind of assuming that I'm wrong and you can't, and my imagination's just messing with me. Probably as a result of uh, Dark Souls Dark Souls 2. But, uh, oh. Oh, the spike thing. The spike thing barely even does damage to me. Kind of just stupidly ignoring it, but... Yeah, that's the way things go. Okay, so... I think we're actually close to a bonfire. Remember there being one nearby. I just gotta find it. And... I'm also trying to remember how to get to the undead blacksmith. Because there's a blacksmith around here that gives me that, like, better ember or something like that. And I'd very much like to get him to work for me. Because I like bigger and better weapons. Yeah! Damage and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to figure out where to buy Titanite chunks. I don't remember if you can or not. I know you can buy Twinkling Titanite at this point. Not Demon Titanite, but I have a number of those. Uh, but I think I only need those for the boss weapons anyway. And I'm trying to remember anything else. Oop, oh, spikes. Whatever. It doesn't even do damage to me at this point. Or if it does, it's such a peasly amount, it doesn't even matter. I can kill one enemy and get that health back. So there's that thing, but I need to find a lever for it. I think the lever must be down below. That's my wager, anyway. Could be wrong, but uh, I think that's right. Well, uh, see you later, I guess. The skeleton just goes leaping for me. Goes leaping well off the edge. Let's see if I can wallop this one off. Nope, but I can kill him. That's one way to handle a problem. Any oh, I think you get to the undead blacksmith by leaping off of that. Come to think of it. Anyway, I think we want to go back up before we do that. Because I think you have to pull that, or push that in, go up here, and then fight the, not fight the, <laughs> and then fight the bonfire. Hey, Revival Shrine, you're going down, son. Kicks up the fire. Well, but I, I can't revive here anymore anyway. Well, <laughs> that's life. Anyway, so we've got that, but I think this is just a sheer drop to nowhere. Unless I did something special. But I don't remember the som something special, so I'm just going to assume there's nothing there. We're going to go this way, and up, I believe. Yes. This is how to get to the bonfire. Good to know. 
Because I think we're going to have to... Oh, no bonfire. Hmm. I swear there's a bonfire around here. Maybe it's like behind this wall? No. Oh. It's down here behind this wall. Of course. Well, I flipped that lever for whatever good that does. Probably brings us to a, a secondary area. Yep. This is definitely an illusionary wall and... If my memory does not deceive me, a bonfire. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Mysterious message on the ground. You're so helpful. Is it to get to the bonfire? Oh, I think I need to rest at the bonfire instead of just lighting it. Hard to remember. But yeah, as I was saying, warping to bonfires. You can only go to a couple of them. I'm going to kindle this one. Figure I might as well. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but I think if we die, this is the bonfire we come back to. And might as well have it all kindled up. Unless kindling only works once and you can't multiple, like, kindle a bonfire multiple times. I've never actually tested this. Every time I kindle a bonfire, I tend to win, so it's kind of kind of hard to remember, slash say, slash whatever. What up? It's, I guess it'll just require some testing. Anyway. Uh. Oh, right. We don't want to go that direction yet. If we do go that direction, there will be some loot, but if we go down this direction, there's some useful stuff. Presumably. Because I think this is how you get to the blacksmith. I really can't remember, but I think it is. Okay, so all we have left, a couple of skeletons. I'd have a mind to just, like, run past them, but I feel like they would knock me off the ledge prematurely, and that would result in very, very painful death. Now, also, if I remember right, let's see, do I have the cat ring? I should have the cat ring. Nope, I do not. So I have nothing to... Ooh, I thought there was like a cat ring. Maybe the cat ring is only in the in Dark Souls 2. Could be wrong. Do not fall down, Wander. That would be hilariously unfortunate right off the bat. But uh, luckily we're directly next to a bonfire, so at the very least, uh, we'll be fine in that regard. Okay, now also if I remember right... Ooh, right, there's some ledges. If I remember right, if you take off all your armor and like pare down how heavy you are, you take less damage from falling. Could be wrong in this regard. Could be very wrong. Hope I'm not. Anyway, let's see if I can get down to this platform before leaping for justice. I'm a bit injured. I'm trying to see where the platform is. I guess the... What the heck is that skeleton doing? It's like rolling forever. Well, that's actually kind of amusing looking. Just trying to remember which... I'm just going to assume. Okay, hey, we made it. Pillage body. Skull lantern. Hey, that's going to be useful. I think we need that for things. Yep, there he is. I wonder who he was supposed to be before he became very dead. Be gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Oh, hello. Forgot. There's also a skeleton here that I brought down with me, kind of, sort of. I'm kind of surprised he uh, survived the fall, but he did. Oh, well. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. I don't know if I have to get the big ember first or after, so let's just talk to him. Hmm? Why? You have an ember, do you? Ah, forget about it. I don't deal with that kind. What has gone wrong with embers these days? Hey, I can, in fact... Interact with him already. So he sells Titanite shards. He doesn't have anything useful for me. That's disappointing. Uh, I guess at the very least he can repair my equipment. That's kind of useful. Upgraded everything to the absolute maximum I pro possibly could. Modify weapon. Oh, right. You can make stuff into fire here. I'd have a mind to make my uh, Vihander fire. But I think I'm I think I'm gonna enjoy lightning more. Probably. Hard to say. Anyway, uh sack. Steel armor. Steel armor. Steel gauntlets. Yeah. I'm actually really enjoying the visuals of the steel armor. If only there was actually a good helmet to go with it. Instead, sack. 
Okay, now this place is scary, if I recall. Yep. At least... These guys do not have much health. So I can kind of tank them. If I were wearing really light armor, this would be a problem. But I'm not. So we're actually in a pretty good position. I th think we'll be fine. I think there are a bunch of them around, though. So I have to keep my eyes out. So we got a lot of them. But we also have a lot of exploding skeleton things, which is concern. Anyway, just lock him. He goes past. Actually have to run to catch up to him, and let's just wail on him a little bit. Not dead yet. Come on, get back here and die. Okay, so I think there's got there's got to be more. I remember there being a bunch. I know there are those skull lanterns over there, but I guess maybe. Well, there's definitely. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna sidestep them. I guess. I'll go after this one. I think he's closer. The problem is if I let them come back. Well, then we have a problem on our hands. That said, they have vastly outpaced me, and I guess I just have to take a little bit of damage. Luckily, Ring of the Evil Eye actually working out very well in our favor. Probably should have put on the Ring of Steel protection from the think of it. Oh, he's not dead yet. The jerk. Still not dead. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a massive pile of uh, wheel skeleton corpses in this area, and it's just like, oh, uh, well, problem. Also, I just realized I've completely forgotten to go and fight... Oh, what's her face? I, I have yet to go to the Painted World of Ariamis. Whoops. I guess we'll be going there next. Or, actually, no. We'll go there after we kill Nito. I, th I think that would be an appropriate progression for this game. Kind of hard to tell. But I think this is the Chamber of Pinwheel. And we're pretty much cooked up. Now, if I remember right, you don't need a Divine Weapon against Pinwheel, though. So we can switch back to... Our crazy overpowered weapon of death. There we go. Lightning's Vihander. Um, and Pyromancy Flame. There we go. Don't want the Talisman out, though. Now, I think you could have summoned a dude for fighting Pinwheel. I honestly do not recall, but I don't think it's necessary. I think we're in more than a good enough position. The only other thing I'd say we need to do is we do not need the Ring of the Evil Eye. I think... I think we want fire protection. I think Pinwheel does fire damage. Anyway, let's hop down Estus and fight the boss. I guess we don't need to Estus. I feel bad for Pinwheel. I feel bad for like half of the bosses in this game. They all have like actually really tragic backstories. Like Pinwheel is trying to resurrect his dead wife, more or less. And instead ends up amalgamating the his dead wife and child into his own body which is horrifying and sad i mean i guess they're together but they don't look particularly happy it's also weird music for the pinwheel fight okay so we've got a lot of fire protection i'm not entirely sure which one of these is the right one oh that was the right one Let's just keep wailing on him. I think we might be able to kill Pinwheel in three hits. Oh. Except for he disappears. And very loud train, no train noises. Okay, we're out of stamina, which is kind of a problem. And he's going to start shooting magics at us. I don't know if that's fire or not. It might actually be lightning, which is a bit concerning. Anyway, there we go. Got Pinwheel down in three hits. Don't even know how I managed that. Right of Kindling. Actually, not sure what Rite of Kindling does. I think it boosts up our, uh, our Estus even more. Hard to say, though. Anyway, uh, I don't remember there being any loot in here. But there is, I think, yeah, a ladder that goes up. Is this the right ladder? I hope it is. Yeah, it is. So, this is actually the next area in the game. This is the, like, Tomb of Giants or something like that. Kind of hard to remember the proper name for it, but that's okay. So what do we need for this? We need... Oh, we need the Skull Lantern. Which boosts up our light, substantially. Because there's a lot of places to fall off, and a lot of scary as a result of it. But, we will be doing that on the next episode of Dark Souls 1. And, as always... Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Got the order wrong. That happens a lot.
shortcut I had. What kind of shortcut are we talking about? I don't know. Anyway, see you guys.